what is up guys, Legend Game here today. I'm gonna to be bringing you a new squad builder on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Yes, FIFA 15 has been released and it is absolutely amazing. I didn't like it at the start, but for this team we are gonna be using a 4-1-2-1-2 uh, formation. Uh, when I bought this team at the time, it was 25,000 coins, but then I lost a game uh, to one of my friends that had Messi, Ronaldo, uh, and they actually legitimately got, he actually legitimately got them. Um, well, he bought coins, but, you know, obviously I was going to rage after that loss, but what I've ever done, let's get into the squad builder. Start off in goal, we do have Tim Krull, a really, really solid keeper for what he paid for his price, 950 coins, absolute bargain uh, for how good he is, Six foot four, so he's not a small keeper at all, um, he's always going to get to, you know, high shots that six foot one keepers can't get to. Um, them stats ain't that bad either guys, um, you know, 81 diving, 84 reflexes, 79 handling, 50 speed, which is which is not bad at all for a goalkeeper, um, 72 kicking is also not that bad at all, uh, and also same for positioning is not bad as well, so um, the first centre back we do go for Anusha, 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 Anusha. <laughs> I know I'm going to call him Bob. Uh, we do have Bob. He's six foot two, so he's not too small either. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of him already. You know, maybe some of the main YouTubers have talked about him. Um, and he comes from QPR. Now, I, I, I am really interested with QPR this year because they seem to have really had loads this year. For the next centre back, we do have Yunus Kabul, who has some amazing stats this year. Again, 74 pace, which is so, so, oh, it's so much bullshit, it's unbelievable, 80 defending, 82 physical, and this guy gets up headers in the box. Right back, we'll go for a silver player known as Cal uh, Norton, I was going to say Cal Walker there, but Cal Norton does it that role uh, really, really well. Um, you know, I say he's one of the most solid, um, he doesn't go up field like Cal Walker would. Um, Cal Norton is more of a player that would sit back and intercept and then look the field and pass. Um, also he's got three star skills there which is not bad at all. Uh, left back will do go for the new converted p um, position player Figueroa. He's gone to a left back which I think is a really really good move from EA. Uh, you're going to have a tank at left back again now. Ashley Karloff has left the Premier League. Uh, now you can have someone like Figueroa in, in left back, he's going to be an absolute beast, well he is an absolute beast, uh, 72 pace which isn't too, it, it isn't too bad for Figueroa, 77 physical, 75 defending, um, you know, you can't go on for a K300, uh, set of defensive mid, you go, you go for Westwood for Alaskan Villa, another silver, but his stats look absolutely atrocious for some reason. Whereas in game, he is absolutely godly. He's so fun to use. He fills that set of defensive mid roll really, really well. He doesn't really go out of position often. He stays in this position. If, if anything, he goes back a lot. I won't say he goes forward. So if you're looking for an attacking set of defensive mid, if you have the coins, definitely go for Ramirez. But this guy does the job really, really well. Left mid, we do go for Matt Jarvis, who looks an absolute beast. Who plays like an absolute beast? The only thing that I don't like about this card is that he has lost his foster, uh, foster skills. He still has the five star weak foot, high attack and work rate, which is great. 87 pace, he's lost a bit of pace. Uh, 62, 67 sharp, but he shouldn't have lost that at all. Um, he should, he should have been about 70 sharp because his shooting in this game was is absolutely insane. I don't believe I scored many goals. Um, as I said, I did sell my players at the first time and then it's my back. Um, I think he scored one before, but I did not get it in the clips. Um, probably one of the most solid left mids in the BPL. I know there's going to be people saying, no, he's not, you got Will um, you got Shirley. Um, but he's one of the cheapest. Uh, anyway, we've got Joel Campbell on the right mid, and that high defensive work rate is so much bullshit, it's unbelievable. With engine as well, 88 pace. Uh, you can't go wrong with a player like this. He's just so amazing to use. His crossing stats quite high as well. 
Um, centre attacking mid was a really hard choice for me to um, to fulfil those many options, uh, but it came down to two. It came down to, down to two, and I chose to wrap. Uh, but there was another player that I really did like using, and that was um, Cabela. I did get him on loan, so he isn't a, a part of the, the total coins. But to Rab does score a really good goal in this um, squad builder. Um, and, you know, 5 star skills in the P BPL for a set of attacking mid is an absolute. Uh, well, it's not a must have, but it is a g good addition. Cabela did also score a, a, a good goal in the game. Um, not many. I prefer to Rab. I just preferred to have over Cabela. Um, so, first strike we do have is Mame View. We are going to put him on the right. Um, six foot one, 75 physical. Um, I'm guessing, you know, I'm just going to guess and say that his heading and his um, strength are quite high. Uh, I've never really used him before. Um, I know he used to play in the Bundesliga. Um, you know, he, he, he was okay. But as soon as I bought this card specifically, he did not uh, do anything. And for the main player, we do go for Fraser Campbell. And this guy is an absolute beast. Six, goal in t six goals in ten games. But my only issue with his card is his physical. Uh, I'm not expecting for him to get up to headers a lot. But he is an absolute, you know... But he should score a few. He, do, he doesn't score any at all. Um, apart from that, Fraser Campbell is an all-round beast. Once you get in the box of him and you finesse it, it's going in. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the clips. So Start off here, guys. We do score a good goal with Cabela. Uh, not Cabela. Uh, with um, the Duke. I'm pretty sure it's Duke. He runs in. A good little bit of skill there from uh, Cabela. Duke finishes that. Um... Here we have Fraser Campbell going on a mad run. All he has to do there is finesse it. His finesse is so overpowered in this game. Um, it's unbelievable. And what a ball here from Westwood that is. All the way to Duke. And all Duke has to do is finish that. And a nice little touch in the box again. Um, this this team really does work for in the box game like type style. Again, another in the box goal by Cabela. Uh, I would say the team. Oh, um, ideal for taking long shots. Uh, Campbell just got another good finish there, Fraser Campbell. And here's another good goal by Campbell again, going on another run. His dribbling is so good, also on this game. Look at that. Uh, you can see that I do finesse a lot with Fraser Campbell. And there's no surprise. Uh, here, guys, I did have to go in replays after the match because my uh, hardware went dodgy. Uh, to Rab the Scott, a really good skill, a skill goal here. Look at that, he does a couple of them. All he has to do now is finish it and finish it. That's from kickoff as well, I believe, guys. Um, so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, Fraser Campbell, again, is absolutely relentless on this game. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.